Warning, this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. Do not harass or bully any individuals from this video. Simply enjoy the experience and move on. Thanks. MGE. Some very serious dueling business. You find an MGE server, you connect to it, you join an arena of your liking, and play a sweaty 1v1 against your opponent. First to get 20 kills, wins. But what do you achieve from winning an MG, and does it even matter? Well, for a smart player that can read the game's name, which clearly says Team Fortress 2, MG does not matter because it's a duel. There's no team play in it, so there shouldn't be anything to prove. But for a moron with an ego, MG becomes very significant, because morons with egos hate losing. And one of the best examples that I've ever witnessed is Xena. <laughs> After making that one video about him, I was generally hoping to never run into him again because of how insufferable this guy is. But apparently that scar that I left on his ego was way too deep. And one day, while he was streaming, he and his buddies found me on TF2 Center. It's a site where people play competitive format lobbies. And since you're watching this video right now, it's pretty easy to guess that he couldn't help himself but play that lobby against me in a hope to finally get his revenge that he has always wanted. And if you, my dear viewer, will truly enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. But before we conclude the story of Xenon, aka your favorite villain on this channel, have you ever wanted to become a villain? Not in my videos, of course, but in the first ever open world online roleplay game One State. A free mobile game where you can become anyone you wish. Wanna build a career as a cop wearing a hacker police officer outfit? No problem. Maybe you wanna join a gang and live a criminal lifestyle instead? It's only up to you. A taxi driver cruising around the city? A car salesman trying to grab that bag? This is only a tiny part of what you can choose from in one state. There are hundreds of people playing on the same map with you for the best roleplay experience for every player, and thousands of people online every day. The amount of interaction and possibilities will keep you hooked for a long time. Also, this game is optimized for different types of devices, so everyone can play comfortably without lags. Simply choose the graphical settings that will satisfy you. One state is absolutely free and does not have annoying ads like other games. Download one state today using the link in the description, since I will leave my promo code as a gift for the first players clicking on it. And make your dreams come true. But did Xenon's dream of winning that one lobby against me come true after all? Let's find it out, everybody. Have fun watching. First meat fight. Here we go. She's getting serious. One guy down. Second guy down. We won this mid fight. That was easy. Not even a drop of sweat. I'll get some cap points. If not, I'm main. I gotta be top scoring. So he sees my power. Oh no, he's dead. Nice low HP. Убил. На ответ убил, блядь. One frag to blow his fucking ass up. That's insane. He gets a new bind. Look at that. Да сука ебаная медео, блять, научись играть нахуй. See his body, okay. I have no idea what he's trying to do. He's trying to fire three people at once. Come on, man, you played some MG. You gotta take one-on-one -on -one fights instead. No? He's dead again. It says three. Is that a death counter of yours? I'll go to their last. I can back up. Little sneaky backup is gonna happen. Oh god damn it! Oh no, it's Xenon! Oh no, Xenon down! Xenon down! No, it is Xenon. It is the Russian MG King himself. You're a witnesser of such mi miracle to happen. <laughs> Little boys growing up, starting to play lobbies. It's about to get a reality check. What is he doing? 
Did you just kill Xena with shortstop? You might become a new god. OMG, man. You have some potential, not gonna lie. They are so trash. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Kill me. Kill me, Doc. You gotta kill Xena, and here he is. Xena down. Wait, wait. That's not Xena. Where's Xena? I think he might be hiding over here. Ooh. Nice rocket. Kill me, Doc. Let's go. Use, 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 use. Come on, come on. Nice. What the heavy doing? Oh, it's enough. What the heavy doing? Soldier weak. Nice. Oh no! Oh no! No, I'm way too scared, man. I don't want MGM. Damn, I'm 12 to 1, but I'm still not as good as him. Leave, 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 please. He took force to nature, be careful. He's very serious now. No, no, no. Don't not. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Holy shit, this is awesome! Oi, 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 oi. Сука, воробей с шлюхи ебаные, блядь. Ка нахуй я хочу выжигать хотя бы один раунд, нахуй, просто не играл в игры, блядь, так сложно. Так а сука этого ебаного воробья выебать, нахуй. Это просто нереально, блядь, ебаный задрот, нахуй, метлинг, блядь, просто сын, блядь, он нахуй мертвый, нахуй, без жизни, блядь. Просто жалкий мусор, нахуй, на этом воробье, блядь, и навижу его, нахуй. Ничтожество ебаное. Ну ебак ебаный. Ненавижу его, блядь. Five dams. Who's the last one? No, there is a trap! Oh yeah, yeah, I just remembered. Their medic is Daniel. <laughs> I completed my goal, I achieved it. Dominated all the people that I needed. <laughs> and ironically though, we have a chance to lose this round. <laughs> because they have Uber, we don't. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Да, 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 сто пятьсот миллиардов человек, блять. Five people damage me and you just get assist. Nice, brain dead. Who the fuck cares, virgin? Куда убегут-то, блять, там враги так ебаные. Все, они забрали ее заново, блять. Он пишет, иди, сука, после каждого фрага, хотя, блять, у не ебаная крыса, нахуй, что за бред. Error, error. I think he just fears this much. His fucking hands are shaking right now, dude. 100%. He cannot land anything. Oop. Pussy force. Nice point defense. Нихуя! Уходим, уходим. Убегаем! И ебем его. Блять, на воробья 30 на 3 счет. Да блять, как его убить нахуй, просто этого лоха. I'm letting everything on him. I don't know how. Like, he does not even move badly, you know. He's moving alright, but somehow it is just so comfortable for me to shoot him. <gasps> no, he kills me finally. 10 HP! God damn it! 10 HP! This is the point where my team got very unlucky because our medic crashed, which of course led to Xenon's team winning one easy round. Our medic left. And we're about to lose this round. Oh no. 
<смех> блять, это новый видос, парни. Типа воробей выебали нахуй в жопу, блять. Сыночек выебал воробья. Thankfully, our medic reconnected soon, but now we needed to win two whole rounds to win the game. Man, how do we win this? We gotta win two rounds. Two rounds, man. Lower, lower, alright? Let's go lower. Lower, please! To the left, to the left. Ah, never mind. Should I have rounds to take? 40 to 5? What the fuck? Я мастерам где подъехали. I must help, man. Oh yeah, it begins. It begins. Use, use, use. Please don't bait me. What the? F I got baited. Draco Sony MG piece of butt. We gotta work something out. We gotta go in now, actually. Go in, they don't have a medic. Go in, now. We gotta win this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play heals. They will not play heals, dude. 55 fucking seconds. What do we do? It's up to me now. It's honestly only up to me. Do we hide? 40 seconds. Okay, it's now or never. It's now or never. Will there be at least one smart person in their team? Checks. Ah, oh, they're defending. What do we do? I gotta yolo it. I gotta yolo it. А он проебали? А почему проебали? Ты не понял? Потому что время кончилось. Я не буду видеть этого момента. To this day, I still don't get how they managed to lose like this. I mean, come on, bro. Even players on pub servers know what to do in these situations. If the game time is running out, all you gotta do is defend your last point because you don't have enough time to win anymore. You cannot do that. You can only defend. <sighs> Anyway, it should be perfectly clear by now that Xenon and his goons had zero idea of what was happening in that lobby and what they needed to do as a team. Because no matter how much MG you play, if you don't have at least a little bit of game sense or in their case a functioning brain, you will always get destroyed. That's a fact. Just look at the amount of deaths on their side. And despite the fact that we were literally playing 5 vs 6 the whole match because our demo was kinda new to the game with roughly 500 hours of TF2, and despite us losing one round because of our meta crashing, we still managed to win. Xenon, how can you possibly play with 4 of your friends in the same team while being on Discord with them, but you'll still have a worse cooperation than fresh installs without microphones? Now, oh, by the way, let's quickly applaud Xenon for roasting our newbie demo man. Good job, bro. You even got tilted by a 500 hours player killing you once. So, uh, yeah, this was the lobby. Yet another legendary fight between Varabey and Xenon. The most ground shaking game in the entirety of 2 history. However, Xenon's story does not end here. No, no. In fact, it is about to become a lot uglier. A few days after this lobby was played, some random guy reached out to me on Discord and said that he recorded a demo of Xenon almost overdosing on copium on some MG server. And when I watched it... Oh boy. Oh boy, it's bad. It's very bad. Nah, seriously, consider this being a warning, because the cringe that you're about to experience next might cause some serious brain damage. I warned you. Yeah, 
Я в шестерках слабенький. Я в опене настреливаю 300 дпм. -а. У меня команда, мы все выиграли. Вот у меня последние там 5-6 игр, 6-0 мы все выиграли. Я пошел в лоу мид, меня на миду отпинали. Я скажу, скаут набивал мид лиги. Получается где-то 400 с лишним дпм. -а. Я, я в миду набил 120. Меня, блядь, пиздили как собаку. Там просто предварительство на самом деле. Типа сначала с опана, короче, ебашишь на опане, потом играешь там с кем-нибудь в миду, там просто типа скримы, и потом заходишь, играешь мид сезон. И мы недавно, знаешь, что с воробьем встретились на твоем центре в шестерках. Он собирается по мне на вдос делать, что популярнее меня сейчас делать собирается, видимо. Короче, мы проебали два раунда из-за того, что у нас медик был его друг, типа, ну, и вот этот подсос воробья, он, значит, этот не хили у нас вообще. То есть, типа, он просто стоял, блядь, почти ФК, просто не хили у никого из нас. В итоге мы просто сливали катку из-за того, что у нас. Просто хп было мало пиздец, на всех трахали. Я воробья со скаута перестрелил только когда он был с медиком. То есть воробей, блять, полный хуй сос, нубский, блять. Да блять, как его убить нахуй, просто этого лоха. Так а сука этого ебаного воробья выебить нахуй. Это просто нереально, блять. Если бы у нас был нормальный медик, он бы хуй сосал. Он мясо ебаное. Не знаю, как можно на 240 герц проигрывать. Ну то сам то а. подумай, блять, как, как нахуй можно с монитором 280 герц скаута вынести, блять, 6 человек, типа, в соло с таким монитором, но 6 человек ты не убьешь, но это просто нереально. Если ты нормальный скаут, то тебе не обязательно всех убивать, чтобы выиграть. Ты больше мне все делать и будешь так и так будешь всех убивать. Я типа на 60 герцах играл в Дмитрии. Это было нормально, типа. Там самое главное понять, куда стрелять за скаута, и в принципе демеш будет нормальный. То есть я бы на open скаут выебывается. Ну чел, который кто, блять, какая у тебя лига лоу, нахуй, или ниже лоу, блять, какой нахуй лоу x6. Я не играю шестерки. Тебе чел по факту говорит, что ты, блядь, тупорылый, блять. У тебя дем нормальный, ты думать не умеешь. Тебе просто не хватает мозгов, вот и все. По твоему, типа, я занимаюсь шахматами, нахуй играю в доктор, типа у меня мозгов не хватает, чтобы думать в игре нормально, я умею. Зачем тут это? Не самого мозга, блять, а мышление, сука, ты тупорылая. Есть мышление, ты тупой, блядь, что ты сейчас пишешь, блядь, мышление, у меня есть любое Почему тогда ты играешь в опене, блядь, с таким демом? И почему ты говоришь на враге, блядь, который тебя перестреливает? Я играю open mid. А, open mid. Почти хай, держи в курсе, блядь, ксенон почти хай, он насмешил, блядь. Было такое почти в хай позвали, только я виноват. Да, да, да. Вообще можно играть open mid, блядь. Что за разброс? Типа, с чего ты взял, что типа мышление у меня нет? Потому что ты горишь на воробья, ты ему типа проигрывал. Воробьи умеют думать. Не... С каких пор плохие нервы, типа, перестали причины? Что тут плохие нервы? Я могу тебе объяснить, у меня очень сильно нашей нервной системы из-за. Иди лечись, псих, ебаный. Я, блядь, выиграл мид. Мне просто, блядь, я не знаю, мне никто не верит. Я что ты выиграл? Мне, почему ты ни одной медали нет? Блин, у меня аккаунт был 4К часов, аккаунт и стоит по 2 л И скажи. Это вся хуйня. Я говорю в этом прикол, да я да, это говорю, понимаешь? Мне вот никто не верит абсолютно, ты можешь даже не, ты можешь не верить, мне похуй. У меня этот аккаунт спиздили, когда я зашел на сайт с продажей и трейдом скинов, ну, в смысле, вещей, блядь. У меня его спиздили без доступа к установлению, не мог его не там вернуть, блядь, понимаешь? Я теперь знаю, что с ним делать, я даже никс не знаю теперь. Да это ФДВ свой ник скажи, там он не меняется. У меня был слишком длинный ник, это было 4, 3 года назад, mm -hmm. я не помню, там, yeah. там, пробуй набрать... Where, where do I even begin, Xenon? Oh, God. Should I maybe mention that I killed you 12 times while you got me only twice in 30 minutes of playing? Or should I mention that my medic friend that was playing in your team only trolled you and not anybody else? You know, there's a cool site called logs.tf where you can check all the statistics from that match. Where you can see your medic doing more healing than ours. My guy, you lost that lobby because you got backcapped by me twice. Because Because you and your friends are a bunch of MG losers who don't even understand how control points game mode works. <laughs> Mid div, you were once a mid division scout. You used to deal for. <laughs> 400 damage per minute as a scout in a mid division, but your account got hacked and you cannot find it to prove it. And so no one believes you. What the fuck are you talking about? There is a way you can prove it. It's not that difficult. You don't even need to remember your account name. You just go to the site of the European TF2 League, and since you said that you had played in a mid division two or three years prior, it shouldn't be a problem to find that season that you had played and find your old team. Because all of this information is always getting archived on this site. It's a matter of five minutes for you to prove your own words to everyone that has ever doubted you. And you'll even be able to find your old Steam account this way. Crazy, right? I can kind of understand your anger issues on MG, on public service and lobbies. I definitely understand your immense hate towards me. But trying to tell random people that you once used to be a mid-division scout, which is obviously bullshit, is just beyond me. For real, dude. Get some help. You know yourself that the only people who would dare playing competitive with someone like you are your friends. Oh yeah, and they did. They did play their first season of Open. Without you though. Maybe you were busy so you couldn't play. Maybe even your friends didn't want to play with you. I don't know, nor do I give a shit. But I still want to talk about their first Open experience. Because 
It's rather depressing. So one of Xenon's quicker buddies... <laughs> yep, this one... Created a Sixes Open team and invited some friends, including Xenon, that was later removed. He also invited a guy named Freddy, which is also present in my first Xenon video. And after getting one default win and losing all of the next games, their team got suspended by the ETF12 admins. And you know why? Because this Freddy guy got caught cheating. Isn't it just sad? MG Kiddos decided to cheat in open. Oh, they also had plans of making a Highlander team. And you will not believe it, people. This is such a plot twist. One of the players in that Highlander team was Aria. Aria K. Angelo. A moron from another video of mine that got mad about me killing him in a duel and crashed this server. It's insane. They never really played any Highlander matches though, but it's not about this. It's about all these brain tumors being being friends in some capacity. Which made me wonder, how many of them actually cheat? And does Xenon cheat as well? That is when I decided to contact Officer Vorobsky. And as a result, we had a little investigation that revealed all the truth. The very first thing that instantly caught our attention is this video on Xenon's YouTube channel. In this video, Xenon is playing against another known MG clown called Pamer, and it's all being recorded by his quicker friend. Which is already kinda sus, and Xenon talks about it in the comment section. This was recorded by my friend because because I forgot to record myself. Well, it raises two questions. The first one is, why was your friend recording Pamer and not you the whole time? He was spectating a guy that he played against and not you, like, what is this all about? If it's not suspicious, then it's fucking stupid. And the second question is, why is his footage so dark? And if we pay a closer look, it's not even the footage, but the game itself. To answer the second question, it's cheats. There is a function in cheats called night mode, which makes the game look like this. Your friend was retarded enough to record a video where he forgot to disable his night mode. What's even more interesting is that he was spectating you from his alt and not from his main account that he used in our lobby. It's the same alt that he used while once MGing my friend Daniel. And I recorded that MG. Your friend was using silent aimbot. So this friend of yours is also a confirmed cheater. And I found his alt account through an MG site. Vagban. Ironically enough though, Daniel also got banned from ETF12 for cheating. And this is why he's my ex-friend now. Anyway, back to you, Xenon. We both know why your friend was not recording you. Because you were cheating in this video. Here's a clear instance of you auto-strafing. Normally, to perform proper strafes in TF2, you need to do smooth mouse movements depending on where you want to turn. While a cheat function called auto-strafe allows you to look in any any direction and strafe perfectly at the same time. Which is exactly what we see in this video. Xenon looks in one direction without moving his mouse while strafing in the air simultaneously. Auto strafe is not the only cheat Xenon uses here. He uses silent aimbot as well on both the rocket launcher and the shotgun. Here's the best frame showcasing it. Look at where he aims and where the bullets go. This also explains him hitting some insane rockets throughout the match. Double air shots, triple air shots, not quite something that you see in other MG videos with him. It's ridiculous that initially Xenon claimed that he has never cheated at all. But a bit later, another friend of his would message me out of nowhere asking about my new Xenon video and saying this. At least Xenon admitted that he cheated, not Daniel. On random alts, of course. Random alts that you will never find. Uh, we did. We did find his alt. Here's his alt from the MG video where he was cheating. Vagban. And here is his second alt, also with a Vagban. Never question the hacker police competence, bitch. Actually, the thing is, Xenon had this alt linked in the description to another video of his, so that's how we found it. And now, finally, the most important question. Does Xenon cheat from his main account? Yes. He does. Thanks to Gotwin that helped us with the evidence for the third time already. This guy's a fucking legend. So despite Xenon having a VAC ban in CSGO on his main, he had also cheated on Face It and got banned there. Apparently he is also banned from multiple TF2 servers for aimbotting, including a permanent ban from Skyle. It seems that on his main account he might be using some better cheats that cannot be detected by VAC, unlike on his alts. I personally got him and his friend banned from TF2 Center and tried to contact the etf 2 admins with all the evidence, but expectedly I got ghosted. And as of late, Xenon's ETF 2L account remains idling for months, waiting for a day to come when he'll finally play his first season of Open. And this is where the Xenon's TF2 legacy ends for me. And for you, my dear viewers. I doubt that this person will ever appear in my videos again, because there's nothing more to add. These people tend to dig their graves deeper with everything that they say, but at this point, I want to close this coffin. And so, this will be it for today's episode of Freak Show. Hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to leave like and comment, and of course, subscribe to this channel for more weekly content. See you in the next video, everybody. Have an amazing day. Peace.